The voiceless dental non sibilant fricative is a type of consonantal sound used in some spoken languages. It is familiar to English speakers as the th in thing. Though rather rare as a phoneme in the world's inventory of languages, it is encountered in some of the most widespread and influential. See below. The symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents this sound is θ, and the equivalent X sampa symbol is T. The IPA symbol is the Greek letter θ, which is used for this sound in post-classical Greek, and the sound is thus often referred to as θ. The dental non-sibilant fricatives are often called interdental because they are often produced with the tongue between the upper and lower teeth, and not just against the back of the upper or lower teeth, as they are with other dental consonants. This sound and its voiced counterpart are rare phonemes occurring in 4% of languages in a phonological analysis of 2,155 languages. Among the more than 60 languages with over 10 million speakers, only English, various dialects of Arabic, Standard European Spanish, Swahili in words derived from Arabic, Burmese, Greek have the voiceless dental non-sibilant fricative. Speakers of languages and dialects without the sound sometimes have difficulty producing or distinguishing it from similar sounds, especially if they have had no chance to acquire it in childhood, and typically replace it with a voiceless alveolar fricative, s, as in Indonesian, voiceless dental stop, t, or a voiceless labiodental fricative, f, known respectively as th alveolarization, th stopping, and th fronting. The sound is known to have disappeared from a number of languages, e.g. from most of the Germanic languages or dialects, where it is retained only in Scots, English, Elfdalian, and Icelandic, but it is alveolar in the latter. Among non-Germanic Indo-European languages as a whole, the sound was also once much more widespread, but is today preserved in a few languages including the Brythonic languages, Castilian Spanish, Venetian, Albanian and Greek. It has likewise disappeared from many Semitic languages, such as Hebrew and many modern varieties of Arabic excluding Tunisian, Mesopotamian Arabic and various dialects in the Arabian Peninsula which still includes it. <laughs> <laughs> Features Features of the voiceless dental non-sibilant fricative its manner of articulation is fricative, which means it is produced by constricting air flow through a narrow channel at the place of articulation, causing turbulence. It does not have the grooved tongue and directed air flow, or the high frequencies, of a sibilant. Its place of articulation is dental, which means it is articulated with either the tip or the blade of the tongue at the upper teeth, termed respectively apical and laminal. Note that most stops and liquids described as dental are actually denti alveolar. Its phonation is voiceless, which means it is produced without vibrations of the vocal cords. In some languages the vocal cords are actively separated, so it is always voiceless, in others the cords are lax, so that it may take on the voicing of adjacent sounds. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Occurrence Voiceless denti alveolar sibilant The voiceless denti alveolar sibilant is the only sibilant fricative in some dialects of Andalusian Spanish. It has no official symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet, though its features would be transcribed s, or s, using the, the diacritic marking a laminal consonant, and, the diacritic marking a dental consonant. It is usually represented by an ad hoc symbol such as s, theta, or s, advanced diacritic. Dalbor 1980 describes this sound as follows. S is a voiceless, coronodentoalveolar groove fricative, the so called S coronal or S plana because of the relatively flat shape of the tongue body. To this writer, the coronal S, heard throughout Andalusia, should be characterized by such terms as soft, quote, quote, fuzzy, or imprecise. Which, as we shall see, brings it quite close to one variety of theta. Canfield has referred, quite correctly, in our opinion, to this s as 
The lisping coronal dental, and Amado Alonso remarks how close it is to the post dental, th suggesting a combined symbol theta to represent it. Features Features of the voiceless denti alveolar sibilant Its manner of articulation is sibilant fricative, which means it is generally produced by channeling air flow along a groove in the back of the tongue up to the place of articulation, at which point it is focused against the sharp edge of the nearly clenched teeth, causing high-frequency turbulence. Its place of articulation is denti alveolar, which means it is articulated with a flat tongue against the alveolar ridge and upper teeth. It is normally laminal, which means it is pronounced with the blade of the tongue. Its phonation is voiceless, which means it is produced without vibrations of the vocal cords. In some languages the vocal cords are actively separated, so it is always voiceless, in others the cords are lax, so that it may take on the voicing of adjacent sounds. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. Its manner of articulation is fricative, which means it is produced by constricting air flow through a narrow channel at the place of articulation, causing turbulence. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Topic. Occurrence. See also Voiceless alveolar non-sibilant fricative Voiced dental sibilant Voiceless alveolar retracted sibilant Sibilant consonant hashtag possible combinations Pronunciation of English th Index of phonetics topics Notes <laughs>